Hi, this is Petey at Bergzerg Arcade at BergzergArcade.com and this is tutorial number 91. Now in this tutorial I wanted to start off doing the character controls and working in the animations, but when I imported my camera controls into my project, I noticed something that we missed. And because of it, it's not going to work. So let's open up Unity. And I've got my first game level loaded up. And well, let's just start it up. When we start it up, we have our character get instantiated into our game. And we notice that we're calling it PC and it has to tag a player. Or at least I'm calling it PC and I believe you should have it tagged as player. Uh, I'll zoom in here. But in the console, we're going to notice that we have uh, the little warning here saying uh, we do not have a target for the camera. And if we stop it, and double click on it we notice it opens up our little camera script that we made and it's because it can't find the target now what's happening is that at the start of when we start our level it uh, looks at our target that we have set up and if we don't have it it warns us well since our target does not exist until the game actually starts we can't really assign it to our main camera so if we look at the script I'm gonna shrink the camera down there's nothing to assign to our target, so let's add a little bit of code that's actually going to go through and look for it and then add it. So there's a couple of ways we could do this. At the very start, we could uh, have it take a look here, and if it's equal to null, then just have it instantiate it for us. But since we already have another script instantiating the character for us, we don't really want to have two different scripts trying to instantiate our character because. You know, we could end up with two in game and we obviously don't want that. Now sure there are ways to safeguard against having uh, another character instantiated in game, at least you know our character. Uh, so you could have it check you know when it goes to instantiate, you know take a look and go, oh, you know if there's already one of me in game, you know don't make another one. But I didn't want to get you know that complex into it. If we go down to our late update, where we check to see if the target is equal to null or not equal to null. Uh, that's when we're adding all of our camera movements. If we go down to the end of it, which will be right here, we can put an else statement. And in this else statement, we're going to look for the target. And if we find it, assign it to our target variable. So basically we're saying if the target is not equal to null, so if it does exist, you know, do all that crap. So we come into here and we'll make a temporary game object. So we'll just call it game object. And I'm just going to call it geo. It's just a temp variable. And we're going to say that geo is equal to game object dot find game object with tag. We want just the singular. And then we'll want to tell it what tag we're looking for. And I have mine called player. And I'm pretty sure I, I told you to make sure it was called player. But I'm actually going to create one more variable that's public. And I'll let you assign whatever tag it is that you have for it up there. And I'll come down here and I'll just say public string. And I'm going to call it player tag name and I am going to set it to a default of player so we can just come down here into our else statement and the tag we will be looking for is our player tag name So we'll just take a look at this in our inspector. And here it is, player tag name. So whatever you have your player tag set to, just fill it in here. And if you don't want to actually create that variable, you can just hard type it in right here. Okay, so we're going to grab the game object with a tag player. So we'll want to make sure that you know we actually got something. So we're going to say if geo equals null 
So basically, if it did not find anything, we'll just say return. So that just breaks us out and get, gets us out of there. Now, if we did find something, then we're going to want to say target is equal to geo dot and the transform. So let's save that off. We'll go see if we have any errors. I see none, so I'll clear it. And now when we start it up, there we go. We have our target. Now, I have a third party, or the uh, camera script attached to the actual camera. And I also have a, one attached to our PC. Ah, see, I have two things in my game tagged player. So that's something I should fix right now. And that was just one of my NPCs. Uh, where is he? Right there. And I missed him. So you want to make sure that you only have the one thing tagged as player. So here we go, third person controller. And you can set it to whatever you want. You can even make another one. I probably will later on, NPC. But for now, I'm just going to leave them untagged. And if I hit start again, I'll have to go to my, let's go up to PC and just take a look. I'm going to turn off the third person camera. And there we go. And now I can zoom around. And I should also be able to use the number keys. Now it's fighting a bit because of the other scripts I have attached to our PC, but we'll be creating those next. Anyway, that's all we really need uh, to fix uh, the camera script to be able to find our character. So I'll upload this and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.